everyone and we go on our educational video series. Today we move on with the views topics and we'll show you a short demo of how to iterate through views table and obtain some of the views properties. As a reminder, the diagram from our previous video. What we need to do is address directly to the views table, iterate through it, and for every view in this table to output the view name and the number of drawable elements in this view. Once more, the key points of today's video. Access to views table, access to every particular view in this table, and output the number of drawable elements in every view as an illustration of views differences. To achieve our goal, we will do the following steps. We will append additional include directives to be able to use additional elements and we will modify the very source code. In this demo, we won't touch the project properties and won't append any additional include directors. We will consider all the necessary stuff in the include directives in the very code. Now, let's switch to the very source code. First of all, we remove the old loop. Next, we append additional include directives. As you see, the paths are longer. It is because we didn't append any new additional include directors in the additional include directors section of the project properties. And next, as in previous demos, we disable the progress meter output. Next, we use the app info manager with the proper argument to get the views table. After this, we create the iterator. Please pay attention that this is an identifier iterator. And after this, we launch the loop. Now, in the loop, we are able to use the iterator to get the ID of the view. With the ID, we are able to get the very view object. Now, with the view object, we have a bunch of methods available and we are able to get the name of this view. Additionally, we are able to get the array of drawable elements that belong to this view. Now, after this, we are able to output the view name and the length of the array of drawable elements that belong to this view. Let's build the demo application and let's run it. Now we can have a look at the output and as you see different views with different names and many of them with different types have different numbers of drawable elements that belong to those views. So that is it for today. Thank you very much for watching and hope to see you during our next educational videos.